Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week we are talking about a subscriber requested topic on underskirts that go underneath A-line or ball gown shaped wedding dresses and the different effects that it can create for your wedding dress. I'm giving you all the details in this week's video. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, drop me a comment below, let me know if there's a particular video topic you'd like me to create a video on. I am here for you, guiding you along the way, leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, and wear so many different hats here at Lavella Bridal, located in Los Angeles, California. California. For daily content, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. Don't forget to hit the follow button on TikTok at Lavella Bridal and at Wedding Fashion Expert as well. This week's video was written in by a subscriber. Holly wrote in specifically asking about underskirts under A line wedding dresses and how they can have a different effect on those dresses. So I specifically wore this dress because this dress is designed by Ines de Santo. She has designed a lot of her ball gowns with a skirt that's underneath that zips out of the dress. So right now I have the skirt in and this is the fullest that it goes. However, it could go a little fuller if you wanted, which brings me to my next point. While you could put in an underskirt in dresses that have not been designed, like the one that I'm wearing right now, the thing to keep in mind and what limits the amount of volume that you can add is how wide the skirt is cut. So this skirt is cut wide with the tool, so we could add a little more fullness if we wanted. There is room in the way that this fabric, this circle fabric of the skirt is cut to allow for more fullness if you wanted. And the beautiful thing is, is that it was simultaneously cut so that it could also have less volume. So I am going to take out the underskirt of this dress so that you can see it with no volume at all versus what I'm in now. So it's two completely different dresses. Another thing I want to quick mention is that a lot of brides who see this say, oh, I want to wear it full for the ceremony and take out the fullness for the reception. So please pay attention when I take this skirt off, when we unzip it, you are going to notice how long the lace gets. It's going to be much longer than what you see now. The fuller the skirt, the shorter the length becomes. When you take that fullness away, the length is longer because it does, it's not falling outward, it falls straight down. So pay attention to the length. It is not possible for you to go from fullness to no fullness or vice versa without there being a length difference in the gown. Now that brings me to the next point, if you could change your heel height, when you take out the volume, you go with a taller heel, fantastic but the volume you are going to see how drastically it changes. Going in with a higher heel isn't the most realistic and I recommend that you stay with the same fullness of the skirt throughout the entire day to make things simple, easy, and just less complicated and free of all the logistics of more things to do. Keep your life simple and keep it easy for you. Let's go ahead and take this skirt out now so you can see what it looks like. Before I do the reveal of the dress, I wanted to show you what was underneath it. So it is also considered a petticoat, is also what it's called, or an underskirt, however you wish to call it. Most bridal stores are going to call it a petticoat. This one, particularly, Ines de Santo, does it with the removable zipper, so you can see the zipper there, and it has a hoop skirt underneath. So the hoop allows for there to be more mobility and motion, your legs are free, and it gives you this full drastic look without the added weight of all the layers of the crinoline. So a hoop skirt is a phenomenal option to give you that 
fullness that you're looking for, keeping it really lightweight and keeping it nice and cool underneath your wedding dress without having a ton of layers and especially for them to all get caught in between your legs. Here is the dress without the petticoat underneath. As you can tell, a completely different looking dress. There's no volume at all, but true what I would consider an A-line. I do recommend you to not get too hung up on the name of the silhouettes because there are so many modified versions of it, but it's pretty spectacular in the way in which this dress can go from all of that volume to absolutely no volume at all, completely changing the look of it, and it's the exact same dress. This is why I chose this dress to do it with because the skirt was cut to be able to have and accommodate that amount of volume. So when you are trying on dresses and thinking that you can add volume underneath it, you really need to understand that the lining and the skirt needs to be cut to accommodate that amount of material and volume into the dress. It's pretty incredible to see how the look is so dramatic and changes. Inez de Santo does do this to a lot of her ball gowns to open up this ball gown to so many different types of brides, right? A bride who wants a more subtle look is going to go for something like this and somebody who wants a big dramatic ball gown will go for the look with the petticoat inside. It's really remarkable and it's been a pleasure to share that with you all today. I hope that you found this video helpful. For more videos and tips like these, be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.